This edition of Mac Voices is supported by you, our viewers and listeners, through our new Patreon campaign. If you get value from Mac Voices, please consider helping support the show by visiting patreon.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, as we put CES in the rearview mirror, uh, now it's time to start looking forward to some other conferences, other events, and other fun things. And I can't think of one that I'm looking forward to more than MacStock in uh, in Woodstock, Illinois, this summer. And joining us this time to tell us about it, or at least kind of do one of the very first appearances he's going to do, because I hope to have him back many times, Mr. Mike Potter, the organizer. Mike, welcome. It's good to see you. Hi, Chuck. It's awesome to see you, too. And uh, thank you so much. I'm I'm honored that you're looking forward to Max Doc this year. It's going to be a really good one. It I know it's well. Each one has been good in its own way. They've each been made a little bit different. You keep fine tuning the the uh, the, yeah. the mechanism a bit, but um, right. it's it's and I've I've said this before. You know, I we may even do a little bit of a disservice to it by saying how much fun we have, because there is it is so much fun. But there's so much learning that goes on, so much information that gets distributed, and I think that's right. uh, that's a key point that I want to make sure we we make people understand this year that we're not just coming for a fun time and a party and to see friends, but you really do come to give and get information. You know, uh, yeah, actually, from day one, and you know, because you you very generously had Barry and I on uh, the very first year that we did this in 2015, uh, from day one. Uh, at the at the heart of what MacStock is is the community, but then that's part of being an Apple user too. Is this community of users that are out there? So I don't think you can have a conference or a get together of of Apple users without that that spirit of community. So certainly that's at at you know that that's at the core of MacStock. Uh, but yeah, the educational part of it, that's very important to me. That's that's hugely important. And uh, one of the things I get a thrill from is just in my day-to-day -day job, when I get to show someone some tip or trick on their Mac or their iPhone or or what have you, that they've that, that's been there for years and years and years, but they, they didn't know it was there. And to be able to show it to them and be able to see their, their eyes open and go, oh my gosh, that's really cool. Is that new? And uh, Spotlight is a good example. We had a great talk on Spotlight last year at MacStock, and I think a lot of folks' eyes were open to just how powerful this little magnifying glass in the corner of our Mac screens is, and not to mention iOS screens, but on the Mac in particular, it's a very powerful tool uh, for you know, something as simple as uh, doing calculations or uh, serving as an app launcher to researching online. There's so many cool things you can do with it. But if you've never used it, if you've never taken the time to click that little magnifying glass, you wouldn't even know it exists. And and that's what I enjoy. I enjoy showing people these cool little things that that, that are buried there in our in our Macs and our, in our iPhones and our iPads that uh, seemingly these days uh, Apple doesn't tell us about. <laughs> they, they put it in, but they don't tell us it's there, so folks don't get to enjoy it. And and that's. Uh, that's uh, one of the neat things about coming to MacStock is, yes, there are the, talk, the talks on stage and, and people are teaching you about these cool new things, but then you also uh, get those tips and tricks from the person who's sitting right next to you. And, and I know I brought home all kind of notes from MacStock. A lot, so many of those notes have made their way into my my daily productivity and, and the way I do things yeah. because they're, you know, okay, they're not so many of those also were not huge tips, but they were just those those little things that can make such a big difference. Um, the little nuggets. Yeah. yeah. But I, you're right. That anytime you put a bunch of, of Apple users, and I, I, I'm not even going to say Mac users anymore. Anytime you put a bunch of Apple users together, yeah. there is a camaraderie. There is something special and different, and we all talk about it. And if you've if you've been to any of these and you experience that, um, but the 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 value, I think, comes in both in both that, but also in the information that you get. So, yeah, there's a lot of folks who've made great friends uh, just in the three years we've had MaxDoc. Folks they've never met in person or even net, never met at all, and uh, just by by running into them at MaxDoc, striking up a conversation, uh, I know that they've they've established these friendships that uh, you know uh, cr cross the country or or cross the Atlantic. Uh, with with someone that they they've never known before, yeah. 
So we have a number of things we want to touch on tonight. First of all, the, the very basic piece of information, um, okay. when and where. Yeah, that's a that's a great question. And after <laughs> I sent out the first Max Doc newsletter, I got a really nice email from someone who said, you know, I, I, I read this newsletter up and down and I can't find the dates in this thing anywhere. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, that that would probably be useful, wouldn't it? So let's start with the dates. The dates this year, uh, we've gotten into this groove of having it the third weekend of July. Uh, with the exception being the first year. But every year thereafter, it's been the third weekend of July, and this year is no exception. So the dates of Max Talk this year are July 21st and 22nd, 2018. Perfect. And uh, it's it's held at McHenry County College here in northern Illinois. Uh, uh, being called Max Talk, I like to say it's in Woodstock, Illinois. Uh, the truth is that MCC is actually in Crystal Lake, Illinois, but it's right on the border. So I think I think it's fair to say it's in Woodstock. So that's that's what I'm going to say. It's Woodstock, Illinois. And McHenry County College is um, the same place that it's been now for, well, yeah. oh, I guess every year. Every year. It's every a beautiful year. conference center. Yeah. Um, it's called the Luke, Luke Conference Center, L-U-E-C-H-T, Luke Conference Center. And um, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it has enough space for uh, 300 people. It's tiered seating. Uh, uh, they got this wonderful new projection system that they just got installed last year, new sound system uh, that, if you remember the first two years, last year, the screen that dropped down was brand new. It's huge, ginormous screen for giving our presentations and everything. It's, it's a very nice facility, and it's nice that they're investing into it and uh, keeping it fresh and keeping it new and keeping it technologically relevant, too. Okay, so that's the when and the where. Now let's talk about some of the what, because the you're what? making a couple of little changes this year to, to MaxDoc. Again, sort of fine-tuning the, uh, the, the, the concept of MaxDoc. Yeah, yeah. Um, MaxDoc is, um, uh, uh, from the very beginning, is... Um, well, let me just say I'm learning as I go. How about that? Uh, the very first I've never I've never done this before. Twenty twenty fifteen was was the first time I had any experience uh, trying to throw together something like Max Doc, and uh, uh, of course twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen gave me uh, the uh, time to uh, experiment with what what we did in each year prior, and I'm doing the same thing again this year. I'm I'm learning from what's come before. I'm learning from uh, actually a conference I went to myself last October called WooConf in Seattle. Um, I was probably the only one who was wandering around the conference taking notes about how they did things more so than what they were talking about. Uh, so I actually um, spent a lot of time seeing what other people are doing, what other people like. Uh, one of the things I have for attendees this year, which will, will be a little bit of a surprise when people show up, uh, I... I I've taken directly from WooConf because as an attendee, the way they handled this, it, it has to do with the way they handled the swag, the swag that people got. Um, the way they handled that, I thought was really clever and interesting. And I said, you know, I think I can do that this year too. So uh, yes, each year is a, a little bit of a, a little bit of growth and a little bit of learning. And one of the things that uh, we're doing this year that's different from every year prior is that I'm theming MaxDoc. So every talk that people hear, uh, and we're, we're gonna stick with that 20 minute talk time, and we'll, we'll uh, talk about the schedule a little bit more in just a bit, but um, I'm theming it. So I'm asking every speaker to, to stick to this theme, and I, I feel like that's gonna really give people a good idea for what to expect when they walk through the doors at MaxDoc. And uh, that's the one thing that we didn't have before is people s looked at the schedule and they saw talks that kind of, you know, uh, covered the, the this broad spectrum of what it is to be an Apple user or, or a Mac user or an iPhone user. And they, th there wasn't quite that cohesiveness. So uh, by theming it, and I, I think we're going to we're going to get that cohesive cohesiveness and and uh, our People are going to be a little bit, you you uh, phrased this uh, better than me a little while ago, but people are going to come in and um, and know what to expect. And I, I think that's important uh, with a conference like this, especially a user-focused conference. So 
the theme this year for our first year of, of doing this is going to be productivity. So every talk that people are giving is going to be themed around productivity, how to get the most from their Apple gear in a uh, productive uh, a productive way. <laughs> I, I love this because it's, it's, of course, one of my favorite topics because I think that's one of the reasons that I, I appreciate tech so much is that you, you can do so much more if with it if by implementing it, by implementing it well, by learning to use it, by making the right choices of hardware and software. And so this really was, I was really excited when you told me this for, for that very reason, that it just plays into something that I'm personally interested in, but I think that everybody can identify with, except maybe the, the gaming people. And and even even there, you know, the gaming people, you know, I'm sure there's a productivity angle to gaming as well. But um, everybody wants to be a little more productive, so they can go and either spend more time with their computer doing more things, or doing things offline that have nothing to do with it. Right. Exactly. And uh, that was one of the things I I gathered from folks who attended last year. Uh, for the past couple of years, I've asked folks to fill out a brief survey after the conference was over and tell me what they liked and what they didn't like. And um, it seems like what people latched on to the most were the talks that were given that taught them things like, hey, we've got this thing on the Mac called Spotlight. Here's how you use it. And and here's how you can really use it. You know, here's here's how if you knew Spotlight existed, I bet you didn't know this existed. And uh, it was those kind of talks that people seem to really enjoy the most. And so I thought, all right, well, let's start with that. Let's start with people uh, with what people uh, got out of Mac stock last year. Let's start with that that topic of productivity, how to get the most out of their hardware and and build upon that. And so that's where the theme came from this year. So that's the, that's the first thing we want to make sure we touch on. Um, and tell me if if you'd rather just jump in, but if not, I'll lead you into the next one. And that is that this year you have um, a very a, a very notable uh, keynote speaker. Oh, oh, sure, yeah, we can talk about that. Um, I was going to save that for number three, but we'll we'll go ahead and talk about that. Okay. This is really interesting, and this came about through um, actually. You, you were the, the catalyst for helping to make this happen, Chuck, and I, I appreciate that. But our keynote speaker this year, this is a first for MaxDoc. We've never had a keynote speaker before. We've never had uh, someone who set the tone for the weekend. And our keynote speaker this year is Bob Dr. Mac Levitas. And I just think this is really cool because uh, uh, productivity is something that uh, Bob is really into these days because um, – uh, that's that's what he's doing now. He started this new, um, yeah. He's written this ebook called "Working Smarter for Mac Users," and uh, it's, it's really an interesting read. I got a copy of it myself and, and went through it, and uh, you know, darn if I didn't learn new things <laughs> about working smarter myself. Um, but on on top of that, uh, this is a man who's been around in the Apple community for well, well over uh, 25 years, I, I believe it is, right? Um, he's he's written for uh, Mac Week magazine and Mac Addict. Um, he's spoken at, at Macworld, uh, giving keynotes there. He's uh, uh, spoken on the, um, uh, what, um, the, the Mac Geek Cruises, is that what they're called? Yeah. The, the, uh, yes, the Mac Mania Cruises. Mac Mania Cruises, that's what it is. Yeah, he's spoken on uh, on those. Um, and he's written something like 80 books about the Mac and the iPhone and the iPad through the years, uh, most notably the uh, the Dummy series for uh, uh, Wiley, right? It's it's a Wiley, uh, Wiley Publishing is the, are the folks who publish the Dummies uh, books. So his, his, his uh, breadth of knowledge goes back uh, many, many years, and I'm I'm just so honored that he's going to be able to take the stage this year and uh, use these concepts that he's been focused on himself th uh, with his ebook, Working Smarter for Mac Users. And of course, there's an online course that goes along with that um, at, to to set the tone for the weekend. So I'm really excited about that. And then in addition to the keynote, he's also going to give a a regular talk and deeper dive as well. 
Yeah, when when I heard about that you all had connected and, and made this decision, I thought this was just perfect, especially with the new theme of productivity and Bob's yeah. focus on productivity right now. It it's just a, a perfect match. And it, it you know, it's it's a chance for folks to come and come out and meet, you know, someone who is a bit of a legend in the in the Apple community. As as you said, he's his credentials almost don't need to be mentioned because everybody knows Dr. Mack. So. Everybody knows Dr. Mac. Yeah. I, he even had a radio show, I believe, um, uh, that that used that title, Dr. Mac, in the in the title of the show. And uh, I know I read it in his bio, and I'm trying to remember what the name of the radio show was. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, he, it, yeah, everybody every, everybody knows Dr. Mac. Yeah, and I'm I'm super excited to have him at Mac Stock this year. Okay, so I screwed up and I took you out of order. So that was number three. What was number two in your original list? Oh, in my original list. Well, we have this theme this year of productivity, and uh, that that dovetails into a scheduling change. So one of the other things that people wanted out of MacStock and, and wanted from the speakers is more. <laughs> they just wanted more. Uh, since the beginning, MacStock has has uh, asked speakers to stick to a a twenty minute time frame. Uh, you know, get, s lay the groundwork for what it is you're going to talk about in twenty minutes. Let people know about it. Entice them to um, uh, do a little research on their own and find out more about the topic, and uh, maybe take a little bit of time after your talk and. Uh, sit down with you and ask you questions and and uh, you know probe your mind and and find out more about this topic that you've teased them with in in their twenty minute time frame and in, in many talks you can actually give a really good um, a, a, a really good in depth talk on a topic in in those twenty minutes and that's that actually came from the TED talks you know TED asks people to stick to an eighteen minute talk time. And ad admittedly, it's a little bit different giving a TED type talk than it is giving a tech how to type talk. But I still think it's possible. I still think and and it's been shown at MaxDoc that if you have a good topic and you hone that idea down enough, you can really give a good uh, a good taste for your topic in a a very small amount of time. But that said, people still wanted more. So what we're doing this year is a little bit different. We're essentially having the number of speakers. So I, uh, last year, I believe we had uh, 18 or 20 speakers. This year, we're going to have no more than 10 speakers. The amount of time we have, though, is the same. We, we're still going to be there from 9 a.m. on Saturday until 5 p.m. on Saturday, and then 9 a.m. on Sunday till 5 p.m. On, on, on Sunday. Um, but what we're going to do is each speaker is not only going to give their 20-minute talk, their teaser, their primer, if you will, on their topic, but they're also, each and every speaker is going to get that opportunity to do a deeper dive. And in the previous years, the deeper dive was given by a, a select few speakers. Uh, and th those were folks who wanted to give that extra time, who wanted to take uh, an extra 45 minutes to delve a little bit deeper into their, into their topic. But this year, we're going to ask every speaker to do it. So every speaker is going to give their 20-minute talk in the morning. And then in the afternoons, we're going to be giving our deeper dive talk. So that's that opportunity for attendees to say, hey, I really want to know more about this topic. So I'm going to attend, you know, Jane's deeper dive, or I want to know more about this topic, so I'm going to go attend Chuck's deeper dive. And uh, I think it, it's going to give people what they were looking for, and it's going to give folks that opportunity to say, you know, I feel like I got enough uh, from the, the speakers, so I'm going to use this time to mingle instead, or to just get to know some of my fellow attendees instead, take that 45 minutes for that purpose rather than sit in on topics that you know, you know maybe I maybe I don't really want to know any more about that makes sense yeah I, I like this because it's going to give the, the attendees a, a taste of topics 
And like you say, then they can decide whether it's something they want to go deeper into or whether it's something that they can sit out or maybe they already feel they, they already know what they need to know about that topic. You know, and that's interesting because I do think that even if you feel like you do know everything about a topic, there's still an opportunity to learn a little more about it. Um, so I hope that rather, well, I mean, it's it's nice to take that time to mix and mingle. I I agree. That's that's it's a, a really good opportunity to do it. Folks want more time to do that. If they if they don't want to sit in on any of the deeper dive sessions in the afternoon, that that's fine. You know, take that time to to hang out with with some fellow attendees who are are like minded or or you just want to get to know a little bit better. That's fine. But I do feel like even if it is something that you you feel like you know inside and out, sitting in on that deeper dive, I I. I don't want to say I guarantee 100%, but I I, I, I guarantee 99% there's going to be something in there that you say, huh, I didn't know you could do that. And you walk away having learned something new that afternoon. And that's that's kind of what the whole weekend is about. Yeah. Learning something new. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I, it, you. You can sit through you can sit through three presentations, three different speakers on the same topic, and you're going to learn something new even if even if yeah. you thought you already knew everything about yeah. it just because everybody approaches things a little bit differently and comes up at it from a little different angle uh my my father-in-law uh never hesitates to buy he, he's into computers but he's not he's not like a super geek or anything he's he's into them as um very functional tools for what he does and uh a, a lot of cad work uh, he he did uh, before he retired, and he still does a, f a fair amount of it. And he likes to actually get his hands dirty with uh, a little bit of programming, a little, a l you know, scripting and, and macro writing and, and things like that. Um, and one of the things that he said years and years and years ago is he 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 went into a bookstore. He went into a bookstore um, back when there were more of them around, and he he picked up a book and he's thumbing through it and he's like, oh yeah, that that has the answer for something I was looking for. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this book. I said, well, you you just got the answer. <laughs> Need to buy the book. He said, you know what? There's going to be something else in this book that I didn't know before. And for the twenty or thirty dollars it cost me, it's going to be well worth it to have this on my shelf, just in case I can learn something new from it later down the road. But I got, you know, I got the knowledge I needed from it, and that alone paid for the book. But just in case there's something more in there. I'm going to go ahead and get this and and keep it on my shelf because you you never know. You never know when that little extra bit of knowledge that you didn't have before is sitting there waiting for you to to learn it. Agreed. Okay, so that's by my count that's 3. And that's I think three. You, and I think you said you had four things that we wanted to touch on. Is am I right about that or did I we discount. do have four things. We oh, do. I am so super excited about this four. But you, you thought I was excited about Dr. Bob joining us, that, which is exciting in and of itself. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that we're going to have a keynote speaker for the very first time ever. But this fourth thing is super cool. Now, this maybe doesn't tie directly into the theme of productivity, but it does tie into these things. You know what this is? You know what that is? This is an e-mate. Oh my God! It is an e-mate. <laughs> it's an e-mate. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So this this is an e-mate three hundred. You know, it's it's partner the Newton, right? The the uh, little handheld precursor to everything we know and love these days. Um, Wally Trewinsky introduced me to a gentleman out of Canada. His name is Noah Leon, and Noah is uh, in the in the final weeks right now. It's it's due to be released on February twenty eighth. He's in the final weeks of uh, production in a documentary he created about the Newton, and the documentary is called Love Notes to Newton. And uh, it's it's uh, it, it actually started out as an Indiegogo project. And uh, it, it, that that's over. So uh, the the project is complete. He raised the money that that he needed. So he went into production on this movie, and it's 
it's it's really interesting because it's it's about a device that was discontinued 20 years ago. In fact, uh, the date of the movie's release, this documentary's release, is February 28th, uh, 2018, 20 years after the Newton was discontinued by Apple. Uh, but it's it's the the, the uh, movie, the documentary is about the Newton, and about the people who who not only love the Newton but still love the Newton, and still in some cases still use the Newton to this day. And I, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, the 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 website is uh, love notes to Newton dot media. Okay, moosefuel.media is his, his production company up in Canada there. But love notes to newton.moosefuel.media. And uh, I don't want to give too much away. There is a trailer on his website. But what I'm excited about is we are going to have an exclusive screening of this movie for Max Doc attendees on Sunday. And I'm uh, super excited about that. Of course, some folks will have seen it before then. The movie's going to be for sale on uh, Vimeo, I believe, before then. And, of course, all the folks who contributed through Indiegogo and, and uh, 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 you know, whatever whatever other means they contributed to the project, they're going to, uh, of course, be able to see the movie. But we're going to have an exclusive MaxDoc public screening of the movie for everyone who attends MaxDoc this year. Wow. And I just think that's super cool. That is. So so will there be a red carpet and you know all of that? Well, Sh should I bring Noah, my talks? You should bring your talks because <laughs> Noah is going to come down and uh, visit us. He's going to be there. Uh, Wally is going to help introduce him because uh, Wally has uh, actually an appearance in the movie. Now Wally is, has been a speaker at Max Doc for two years now he's going to be a speaker again this year he's going to continue his video to go uh, uh, talks that he started this is gonna be video video to go three and uh, Wally is actually going to introduce a new concept for max doc 2019 at this year's max doc that I'm excited about too but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag on that one yet but as part of his announcement uh, uh, we're going to be having the screening of love notes to Newton. And I just think that's That's going to be super cool. And Noah's going to be there and he's going to be available for Q and a after the screenings over. So, uh, I'm super excited about that. And, and <laughs> anyone who knows anything about Apple's history is, is, uh, is, is going to really enjoy this movie. I think that's, that is cool. And you didn't yeah. tell me about this before, so I'm hearing it fresh for the first time too. So yeah. that's, that's absolutely exciting. That really is. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to share more about that in the Max Tech newsletter in the next week or so and we'll we'll have a blog post on the site and tweet it out and all that kind of stuff. Um but it's it's going to be really really fun. Really fun and I'm I'm glad that Noah can come down and join us and uh, I just think it's going to be a really nice way to wrap up the weekend. We're going to start the weekend with a keynote from from uh, Dr. Mac and we're going to wrap it up with uh, a little love notes to Newton from Noah Leon. That's fantastic. It's going to be super cool. That's yeah. fantastic. So you're going to be coming back here uh, periodically between now and Max Talk, of course, to give us more little hints and teases. Um, uh, obviously, you know you're still still working on figuring out who the speakers are going to be and the and, and finalizing the schedule. Um, right. I do. I do want to make sure we, that we point to people to the to the uh, to the Max Talk website right now because first of all, you want to get your tickets early. Um, second, you want to make sure you book your hotels uh, because there is a room block or two. Right. Do I have that right? right? You do have that right. Uh, so uh, the the first thing we want to mention is that there's an early bird sale going on right now. Uh, it's a pretty substantial savings. The regular ticket price is two forty nine, but the early bird price is one seventy nine. So it's uh, some su substantial savings off that. That includes the entire weekend of activities. It includes uh, the keynote session, obviously. It includes uh, admission to Love Notes to Newton at the end of the conference. All the great talks we're going to be. Uh, uh, presenting this year at Max Talk, and of course the lunch and T-shirt and, and and swag and all that kind of cool stuff. But um, pretty good price on the on the ticket right now through our early bird sale. And uh, what was the other thing you said? 
Um, <laughs> oh, the room blocks. The room, the blocks. room blocks, yes. And, uh, of course, you do want to get a room block at our preferred partner hotel, which is the Hampton Inn out of McHenry. And then the reason is the evening events – and we do have a uh, kind of a little welcome get together on Friday. Uh, we're going to have an after party on Saturday. We're going to have um, uh, Barry is planning a game night Saturday night. So kind of the after after party is going to be <laughs> Saturday night. It's a game night, but all of this stuff is taking place at or very very near the the Hampton Inn of McHenry. So if you're going to book at any hotel, that's probably the best one to book at. And information about that is on the lodging page of the MaxDoc website, which is MaxDoc2018.com. That's how you can get there. Uh, but we also have a couple other room blocks. Uh, two hotels that have participated with blocks in the past are the Holiday Inn out of, out of Crystal Lake and the Comfort Inn out of Crystal Lake. So uh, both of them are offering room blocks as well. So lots of rooms available for everyone who wants to come out. And uh, early bird pricing. So... Uh, what, why are you delaying? Buy your tickets. It's going to be a great weekend. Really, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and I want to take Mike back just a second because he just kind of glossed over the the the, the, oh. I, the, the concept that you get um, two lunches, two really good lunches. Um, mm -hmm. Because the they're they're done by I guess the culinary staff um, at the community college. At um, the community college, yeah, they have a great culinary program, and and that's who is uh, uh, providing the food for us. Yeah. Yep. So this is not like you know dogs and beans or anything. This is this is some <laughs> really good food. Um, that's get, an option. It's always an option, but I don't I don't take that option. Yeah. We go with, we go a little <laughs> bit a little bit higher than that. Yeah. And the Mac the the, the swag that you get as well, the Mac stock T shirt, you know, so. You, yeah. you you get something for your for your dollars, and of course you get two days of fantastic events, and maybe now it sounds like a couple of nights of fantastic events as well. So, yeah, you have to have Barry on to talk about his evening events. Well, uh, that's uh, it's all part of the weekend, but Barry does his Mac Mingle events, and and I do Mac Stock, and we bring them all together for a weekend of uh, just a, a great time. Yeah, well, we'll definitely get Barry on because I want to hear more yeah. about what he's proposing for the game nights and all. This should be a, a yeah. whole different dimension to MacStock. Um, so the website is? MacStock, M-A-C-S-T-O-C-K, MacStock2018.com will get you there. That's okay. probably the best and shortest way to get there. Right. Yeah. And you are, um, is, there, is there a MacStock uh, Twitter handle? There is, yeah. The MacStock Twitter handle is MacStock. Expo, Max Talk Expo is the Twitter handle. Okay, so and uh, yeah, feel free to follow me, ping me, send me direct messages. <laughs> Any questions you have, I'm here to answer them. And of course, uh, there's uh, you, you can email me, uh, Mike at MaxDoc2018.com. That'll get to me. Uh, Mike at MaxDocConferenceAndExpo.com. Uh, any of those will get to me. But uh, Twitter, email. Uh, I'm there for anyone who has any questions about Max Talk or the weekend. Or um, I even had someone ask me last year where they can go camping, and I found an answer for him. So uh, it's it's all about bringing people together and and um, learning about our our Apple gear and having a good time, That's taking great. part of the community. Yeah. Well, I know I've got quite a few of my friends that are looking forward already to coming. I know I'm looking forward to coming yeah. and I hope that a whole lot of you, you know, that, that were there last year, you found out what a great time it was and how, how much you learned and are coming back. And I hope the rest of you will take a good hard look at it and join us in Woodstock this year, because it is going to be a great time, a lot of great information, a lot of good people. No question. Excellent. Oh, thanks for having me on, Chuck. This it, is a lot of fun. It always is, Mike. Um, so we'll, and we will see you again, uh, hopefully with, well, definitely with more announcements as we get closer. And of course, folks, I will be doing, uh, with Mike's permission, the Road to Max Talk series, uh, where we'll talk to the speakers a little bit about what they're going to talk about and preparing. You, you, you don't need my permission for that, Chuck. The Road to Max Talk series is phenomenal. I love it. I like watching it because I get to learn so much about the speakers and about about the way they're they're going to approach their topic that I don't necessarily I'm not necessarily privy to that before the conference. So uh, uh, seeing these talks, seeing these interviews is a really interesting way for me to get to know some of these folks a little bit more as well. Great. You're just the organizer. Why would they tell you anything? 
<laughs> oh, they tell me plenty. They tell me plenty. But <laughs> but seeing them on Road to Max Doc is uh, it's just a really good way for people to get to 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 know them a little bit better and uh, yeah, feel feel like uh, feel like they're watching a friend on stage, I guess, because yeah. you do a really good job of bringing that out in people. Well, that's yeah. that's that's kind of it. You know, you you hear these names, you you hear you see people, and you read what they write, and it's it. I think it helps a lot to see them and hear them. And you're right. By the time that they get to Max Talk, at least you have some idea of of what you're going to be getting and feel like you do know them. So, yeah. All yeah. right. Well, we will see you again soon, um, and we'll definitely see you in Woodstock in July. Awesome. I look forward to seeing you again too. Sounds good, folks. Join us, Woodstock, Illinois, MaxStock 2018. We're going to have a great time. Go check it out. And I'll be back with more soon right here on Mac Voices. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.